Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Friday, May 4th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, Haley Anderson. She just moved one important step closer to making the U.S. Open Water Olympic team. And Haley joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Los Angeles. Hey, Haley, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Yeah. Con congrats on a great swim last weekend. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. You like dramatic finishes, don't you? Yeah, I like keeping my coaches on the edge of their seats. <laughs> okay, so you've got this event where you have to be in the top two to have any chance to then move to the next qualifying step to make the Olympic team. And it was uh, kind of a crowded field, and you sort of came from behind at the end. Tell us about the race strategy and for people who didn't see it, how it all went down at the finish. Um, well, my race strategy was just to be relaxed the first 5K, and then slowly work my way up the second 5K. And um, so the last, the last loop I was with uh, the lead pack. And coming around the last buoy with a 400 to go, um, I knew that was my chance to um, really break away. And I just put my head down and sprinted. <laughs> so you sprinted, you, you felt like you were in sprint mode pretty much the last 400 meters? Yeah, I'm sure it probably didn't look like I was sprinting, but that was all I had left after two hours, so. Well, it was, it, it was enough, right? Yeah, yeah, just, it was. Just how close was it at the finish between second and third? Um, I think I finished six seconds ahead of third through, like, six. Okay, so you pulled away pretty nicely there at the end. Yeah. yeah. Were you, were you surprised at all? Because you know, you've been focused so much on pool training, it seems like. You're still swimming for USC. You had NCAAs just a month or so ago. Um, so to make that transition very quickly maybe isn't as easy for you as it is for some of the other girls who are exclusively open water trainers. Yeah, I mean, it was a hard year having um, so many things to focus on, not just pool swimming, um, for college, but also open water and then also Olympic trials in the summer. I mean, so I did, I knew I had a lot on my plate, but um, I, do, I love open water and I knew I had a chance, like as good of a chance as any of those other girls. And um, I've just improved with every race I've done. So you go to Portugal now, right? And only one of the two American ladies will make it to the Olympics. Yeah. So, how do you like those chances? Um, I mean, I like the chances. I'm, I'm so excited to go. Uh, I can't wait to race. And the chances are pretty good. So, it's nice. Outside of open water swimming, you're going to go to Olympic trials and try and make the team in maybe like 400 and the 800? Yeah, yeah. I'll swim all the, I'll swim all the freestyles, the long freestyle. So I'm like 200, 400, 800 free, 200 fly, and 400 IM. How was this past year for you in college swimming? Um, it was a great year. I really kind of tapped into what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So um, it was just a great year to um, see everything pay off and come together. Well, please share. A lot of people now are wondering what works for Haley Anderson. Um, I... Like normal college students, we normally lift, and um, I, but I, I know that lifting doesn't work for me, so I stopped lifting the second semester after we came back. Um, so January on, I didn't lift at all, and we also found out that tapering doesn't work for me either. So, because I didn't taper for Pac 12s, and um, I swam really well. And so they kind of decided, well, we don't really need a taper for NCs then, so. Okay, now when you say tapering doesn't work for you, 
like you still got to be coming down a little bit, right? You're you're not yeah, going ten thousand yards a day the day before you swim at NCs, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I cut back a little bit, but definitely not like I used to taper. Okay, get, tell me the difference. You used to do you know, X amount of yards, for example, in a workout the week of the big meet, and now you do what? Oh, I never count yardage. Well, give, me, <laughs> give me some way to quantify this, because people are very curious, I'm sure, by this. Yeah. Well, I made sure that once I was at NC's, I would probably do three to four thousand each time I got in. So I got in the water like twice a day, um, and I would still do that as the meet went on. Wow! So uh, at, normally, at normally the I meet, warm up that much. So at the meet, like for warm up, you're doing three thousand. Uh, yeah, probably about like three thousand in the morning. Wow! And yeah, normally I don't warm up that much, so that was hard for me. So. Yeah. Your clock takes a lot of winding, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you're not one of those people who just do a hundred, uh, loosen up, and then you're ready to go? No, no, not at all. Huh. Well, like you said, whatever works for you is what's important, right? Yeah, yeah. How's your sister doing? Oh, she's doing great. Um, I haven't, well, I haven't seen her since NC's, but... She was really excited for me for open water. Um, I told her I'm going to come out and visit her uh, at the beginning or after this summer, and she was like, "Then and I told her she has to visit me too if I visit her." So, all right, what happens if you're both in the final of the 200 freestyle at Omaha? Um, I'm not very good at the 200 freestyle. Okay, I'm so we don't have to worry about that hypothetical too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that much of a sprinter. Um, I guess our closest shot to like swim together would be the 400 freestyle. Uh, but I've learned that since she's my older sister, I've learned that not to, because I used to psych myself out when I raced her because she's so good. And I would just, I would make myself so nervous swimming against her. And now I just kind of have learned to let that go. And once I get to the blocks next to her, I have to pretend like she's just, some other girl <laughs> that looks just like you yeah <laughs> <laughs> well does she get psyched out now because there seems like there's equally a chance that you'll beat her as vice versa these days um i think she's happy that i've gone into the longer races <laughs> she's safe from that so i think that's kind of how we've coped with it so. and she seems to have tried to now focus on more of the 200 i think uh, yeah the second she went to college, she was like, I'm never swimming the mile again. And, and the second I came to college, my races got longer. So, I don't know who was smarter there. Well, she probably gets more of a taper than you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Haley, when's the race in Portugal? Um, the race is June 9th. All right. You speak any Portuguese yet? You brushing up on it? Oh, gosh. I, uh, I speak no Portuguese whatsoever. So ever. I barely speak Spanish and I learned that I went to a race in Argentina and the Spanish I learned in school is not the Spanish they speak because they were looking at me like I was crazy. white. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Haley, thank you so much for joining us. Obrigado. That's how you say thank you in Portuguese. So as long as you got that down, you'll be fine, right? Oh. Uh, it already went in one one ear and out the other. So. All right, let's pra let's practice real quick here. Okay, obrigada. Obrigada. Very good. You even got the accent and everything. Oh, great. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us, Haley. Good luck in Portugal. Thank you. It was great talking to you. You too. Well, that's Haley Anderson joining us in the Phoenix Monitor, and that's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.